Okay. Hi, my name is Alyssa, and I'm a nursing student at Lenore Ryan. Is it okay if I do a musculoskeletal and neurological assessment on you today? Yes. All right. So, um, upon just looking at you, you look like you're dressed for the weather. You look nice and put together, and your speech seems normal, which is good. Um, I'm first just going to start with immediate recall. So I'm gonna tell you five numbers if you could just say them back to me um, after I'm finished. So three, seven, six, two, one. Three, seven, six, two, one. Great job. And then I'm gonna do recent memory. So I'm gonna hand you three objects. If you can just tell me what they are. All right, so I'm gonna put these out of your view and then I'm gonna ask you what these three objects were later, okay? Okay. okay. So next, I'm gonna do your remote memory. So what's your mom's maiden name? Ocean. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go through a thought process scenario with you. So if you were walking in the mall and somebody in front of you dropped their wallet, what would you do? Take it out and give it to them. All right, that's a great appropriate response. So um, upon already looking at you again, your emotional status seems normal. You're not crying or being overly laughy or anything, which is great. Um, next, I'm just going to ask you about your um, activities of daily life. So can you sit by yourself and stand by yourself, walk? Yes. Can you feed yourself, bathe yourself, brush your teeth, brush your hair? All right, perfect. So um, next, I am just going to inspect one of your joints. So if I can see your wrist. All right, any tenderness there? All right, so upon looking at your wrist, I didn't see any atrophy, contractures, bony enlargements, redness, nodules, and swelling, and you don't have any tenderness, which is great. So next, I'm just gonna check your olfactory nerve. So if you could just close one nostril for me and breathe in. Other side, that's good. And then I'm just gonna grab this candle over here, and if you can tell me what it smells like. Good. <laughs> is there a specific smell? Okay, that's good. All right, so <laughs> next I'm gonna check your optics. So we've already done this or we would do it again, but for acuity, we would use a Snell and, R chart, Snell and I chart to see how many um, letters you got correct. And then for your visual fields, we would check your six points. Yeah. <laughs> um, so next I'm gonna check your oculomotor, your trochlear, and your abducens. So if you could put a bridge up on your nose, um, usually I'll have a pin light and I would shine it in this eye and make sure that your eye contracted and shine it in this eye and make sure that it contracted and that would be direct. And then to check consensual, I would shine a light in this eye and make sure this pupil contracted and then the other way around. So that's good as well. And then I'm gonna check accommodation. So just look at my finger. All right, and your eyes converged and accommodated to my finger. So that is great as well. Um, so now I'm gonna do your six points of gaze and check for nystagmus. So just follow my finger. Sorry, I'm moving a little fast. All right, so notice I have noted there, which is great. So next I'm gonna check your trigominal. So um, if you could just clench your jaw for me, and I would try to open your lip, but I don't wanna come too close. So your temporal, temporal and masseter um, muscles are strong, which is good. So next, I'm going to check your sensory branch. So I am going to touch you with this, and this will be light touch. And I'm gonna check you with this, and it'll be pain. So if you could close your eyes for me, I'm gonna check your face, and if you could just tell me if it's light touch or pain. That's great. Everything looks good there. So next I'm going to look at your corneal reflex. Um, I'm not actually gonna check that, but what would happen is I would get a cotton ball and move it close to your eyes and see if you would blink. So hopefully you would blink. Um, and next I'm gonna check your facial for your facial nerve for symmetrical moves. So if you could raise your eyebrows, smile for me. Great job, frown. All right, <laughs> so your um, facial um, movements are symmetrical. 
Um, so next, I'm just going to check your muscle strength. So if you could pull up your cheeks from me like this. Good. Um, and then if you could stick your tongue on your cheek. All right, your <laughs> muscle strength there is good too. So next I would check your acoustic nerves. So I would do a whisper test, a Renee test, and a Weber test. Um, next I'm gonna check your glossopharyngeal and your vagus. So if you could swallow. All right, that looks symmetrical. If you could stick out your tongue and say, ah. Uh. <laughs> All right, your uvula movements are symmetrical. And then if you could, I would check your gag reflex, but I don't wanna make you gag today. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Um, and then upon just listening to you, your voice doesn't sound hoarse or anything, which is great. Um, so next I'm going to check your um, spinal. So if you could just shrug your shoulders for me. All right, look left and right. All right, and then shrug your shoulders. All right, so your trapezius is strong. And then look that way and try to look this way. Oh, that's good too. Other way. Perfect. So your sternocleidomastoid and your trapezius muscles are strong as well which is great. So next I'm going to check your hypoglossal. So if you could just take out your tongue. All right, I don't see any tremors there. And then um, if you can move your tongue up and down. Yeah, <laughs> side to side. All right, that's great as well. Um, so next I'm going to check your motor cerebellar. So point to point testing. So if you could just put your arms out like this, touch your nose, great, close your eyes. Put your arms back out, don't hit the wall, there you go, and put it back on your nose. Perfect. Okay, so next we're gonna do your rapid rhythmic alternating movements. So if you can pat, pat your leg. All right, if you could do fingers to thumb, great job. And then if you can flip your hands, great job, and tap your toes, perfect. <laughs> next, we're gonna do your motor non-cerebellar. So if you could just grip my fingers for me, perfect, seems even. And strong if you could um, do your rumberg. So you're gonna stand up. All right, close your eyes for 20 seconds. I'm gonna check to see if you sway or anything. Perfect. I didn't see any swaying movements, so that's good as well. Um, so. Keep standing. If you can walk this way, um, your gait seems normal. You don't walk with a limp or anything abnormal. And then here, you want to come back in front of your chair. And then if you could walk on um, your heel to heel like this. Perfect. Everything seems normal there. And then if you could walk on just your heels. Perfect. And then just your toes. Perfect. Um, and then if you could hop on one foot, great. Other foot, great job. Okay, so next I'm gonna check your spine. So if you could just bend over. I don't feel any deviations or any abnormalities there, which is good. If you could bend um, front and back, side to side, twist. All right, so you have good range of motion. You can take a seat again for me. Um, if you can hold out your arms, I'm gonna try to resist my pushing. Good strength there. And then if you could hold up your legs, try to resist. Great job. Good strength there as well. Um, so next I'm gonna check your sister, sensory system. So I'm gonna do the same thing with um, light touch and pain. So just close your eyes and tell me which one you feel. vibrations in your fingers and toes. So usually I would have a turning, uh, I'm sorry, a tuning fork. I would strike it on my hand. 
and I would place it on your fingers and you would say if you felt the vibrations or not. Um, and if you feel vibrations, that's normal. And I would do the same thing and I would strike it on my hand and put it on the most distal joint on your toe and see if you felt vibrations. So next I'm gonna check discrimination. So the first one is stereognosis. So if you wanna close your eyes, um, I'm gonna hand you um, two objects. And if you can just tell me what they are. Before we do that, I'm sorry. Um, what were the three objects I asked you to remember at the beginning of the assessment? <laughs> a mask, a nail polish, and a <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so close your eyes. I'm going to hand you two objects. Um, let me know if you know what it is. Nail polish. Yep. Robot. Perfect. So that, your stereo um, genesis is good. So next I'm going to try test your grip thesia. So I'm gonna gra uh, draw a number on the palm of your hand and you're gonna tell me what it is, okay? You don't know? <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Four. Okay. Eight. Nine. Perfect, okay. <laughs> so next we're gonna do point localization. So I'm just gonna touch you and you're just gonna touch the exact same spot I touched. Okay. going to check your reflex functions. So we're going to start with your bicep and usually I would have the little um, thing so you just rest all of your weight in my hand and I would tap you right behind your elbow and we would see a little bit of a movement. And then I would check your tricep. So I'd smack you right here, see a little flex in your hand. Um, next I would check your planter. So we are going right below your knee and you would kick like that and then check your Achilles. So I would hold your foot and tap right here and we'd see your foot. And then um, I said planter, this is patellar. Sorry about that. But your planter, um, I'm just going to go towards the outside of your toes and around. And normally you would see the toes um, curl. But that completes my assessment for today. Is there anything else I can help you with? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you.